Hi, my name is Sal. This is my Illegal McCall Mac. He is two years old. He's a male. And he is a very intelligent bird. If you follow me, I'm going to show you how I take care of Mac. Hi, okay. Uh, step up, Mac. Alright, here we go. Okay, um, so basically here are some guidelines on um, taking care of illegal macaws, mini macaws. Uh, this might apply to other species of macaws as well. And um, basically, um, what I, first thing I want to show you are the foods that don't, don't eat foods, don't give foods, and the, the, the good foods. Uh, if you look here to, the, to these seeds, for instance, this is your typical basic commercial supermarket seed food mix. This is an actual, this is what actually mostly, unfortunately, it sells a lot better than many other types of seeds. And it is actually uh, connected to anything from feather, feather plucking to bad nutrition, fatty liver disease, many other deficiencies in a, a bird's life. To keep your bird healthy, he does require a variety. However, if you do look at this seed, these seeds right here, you will notice that it's basically sunflower seeds painted with food dye, other types of seeds, such as these safflowers right here. That are, that are green and made to entice birds to be more delicious, I guess. Whereas the actual food, the better foods, for instance, would consist of... And on the other hand, we have the healthy staple diet. Uh, this consists of different food items, such as, if you look here, you'll see fruit, <coughs> pellets, seeds, greens, nuts, lentils and beans which should be cooked by the way pasta can be given either way cooked but preferred cooked or raw um, treats every now and then maybe once a month um, as far as seeds go i can tell you that safflower seeds aren't the only seed to be fed there's a variety of seeds i would say the more seed different types of seeds the better i don't try to make it too sunflower based um, it has led to problems with many pet species um, these for instance are mora seeds these are made from uh, came from a plant, a cal wow, I can't even remember what, cas calabasas, it's almost like, it's a Spanish, it's a Central American tree, and this is actually used to make a, a popular drink in El Salvador, so it's actually found in imported foreign food stores, 10% of his diet actually also consists of pellets, and pellets aren't a favorite of his, but because they're a variety and they're given in small portions, they do eat them, um, they do love them also. On the nuts, I try to give them nuts with shells on them. It gives them the ability to open up their own nuts and crack them themselves, which is something they actually are, they have the instinct to do, and they actually like utilizing that. And, of course, fruit. And if you're asking what these are here, these are seeds that I actually harvested. They come from an Australian bottle tree. These are what the seed pods look like. These are pretty common in California. I don't give them this on a regular basis. It's a kind of a treat deal. However, just to add to the variety, it does work really well. Basically, these are the seed pods, and the seeds are kind of like this. They do have little hairs all over them. You have to take the hairs off. I have thick skin. I don't have a problem with it, but they say they could be irritant to people, which these obviously have no hairs whatsoever on them, and they cl they're cleaned off. It's a sensitive skin. They could be irritant. Uh, basically, the reason I chose these seeds today was um, as a native to California, living in California, many actual feral species of birds such as Amazons and canary wing parakeets that have developed and have lived out here for over 10 years now have actually been found seasonal uh, coming back throughout you know the year um, every season well you know when these things are abundant and they actually love eating these so just on my own you know observations I actually you know decided to tr let them try it which they actually do love however not a lot of information is given on this particular species of uh, seed Therefore, I don't feed them too much. It could be one time a month, if that. But they do love them. And there's other seeds as well. One thing I usually do also, if you think that this is very expensive, for instance, it's really not. There's a lot of ways actually going out and making your own food for them and not spending anything. These are cantaloupes. Um, I, earlier, I cut a, a honeydew melon. And uh, basically, all you got to do with this, for instance, is take a knife, cut it in half, take a spoon, scoop up the insides, which are, which are the seeds. You want to kind of run water over them. Basically they look like this. Once the seeds are are scooped out and they're put in a strainer, you want to kind of just wash them out. You want to make sure that all the particles of the actual melon itself, such as this, 
are tossed out. This prevents the seeds from drying out, actually, when you want to dry them out. And um, I, for some reason, I've tried many different times to feed them these seeds the way they are. They do not like them. However, it's an opposite reaction when they're actually dried out. And they actually do love this. And this is actually a very nutritious and very lovely tree. Once you get these seeds cleaned out, you want to kind of choose an area. There's not much sun here now but to actually dry these seeds. And uh, it might take about an hour depending on where you live and how hot it is. Once these seeds are dried, they love them more than they love sunflower seeds, miraculously, and they're very healthy for them too. So, that was some of the questions that I had when I before, you know, there was no YouTube video for Elegant McCall's out there and um, I had to go by trial and error and also just other people's, you know, experience also and um, their advice. And uh, this is what led me to actually feed them. There's a lot of other stuff that you can feed them as well. Pine nuts, for instance, are really good for them. Um, you want to always give them a variety. You want to make that variety. You don't want to depend on, on a supermarket type food or something that you can find at, don't want to mention the names, but you know, wherever they sell these in pet sections. Don't rely on these, on these foods. These foods are the equivalent of junk food for humans and they lead to a variety of problems. Things to avoid, of course, in the, uh, if you have your bird, you know, free range, you know, roaming, do not use non-stick cooking pans under burners. Do not, those fumes can be very toxic to the bird. Um, detergents, um, aerosol sprays, you don't want to be, have those anywhere around birds. Even if you just use Lysol in a bathroom, for instance, don't take your bird in there. Don't smoke around your bird. If you do smoke, smoke outside the house and try to air yourself out before you do get in because that secondhand smoke is just as bad to them as, or if not worse to them than it is to us. Um, chocolate, of course, avoid that. Avocados, people say that certain avocados are okay with birds. Um, not, a, not enough research has been done on that. Avocados have been known to kill birds very, very fast. They're extremely toxic. Another toxic thing is also coffee. Do not let your bird around ground coffee. I had an unfortunate accident with a lovebird when I was 13, and it was 1993. I didn't have the internet at the time, didn't have anyone to really talk to about this. I called 12 bird stores, only one actually told me. It was too late because my lovebird flew to where the coffee was always being made, and once it was actually dumped in the sink, the grounds, he flew right on top of it and ate it. I thought that that was a really cool thing because I'd never seen him so happy to eat this stuff, but it actually came out very poisonous. Definitely do. Them in 30 minutes. You have to do research on anything that you feed your bird. You can't feed it. Uh, whatever you feed your bird, you definitely want to uh, look into the internet. You want to definitely see if, there are ed if they are edible foods for birds. Um, one thing I like to do is try to find and see what wild parrots are actually eating in their natural, you know, and see if we can incorporate that in their foods. Um, you know, natural type seeds that they eat. Be careful for pesticides. Um, you want to watch out with uh, certain things. Wash all your fruit, your vegetables before you give to them. Um, also, just um, just you know, be very careful. Always do research. Again, I say I'm stressing it. Do research on any item you have any questions about. Do not give them potato chips. Do not give them. Do not feed them French fries. Junk food for us is like junk food for, to the tenth power to birds. So just think of it like that.